video we'll show you how to set up a series of automation rules for Market Dojo sourcing. Starting from my sourcing settings, at the very bottom I have various rules for automation. This includes for lots, suppliers, event templates, questionnaires and documents. Each one has an enforced or an enabled mode and I'm going to ensure that they are all set now. Moving on, I will also require custom fields for the automation to function. I will need at least one custom field, I've picked one from list, multiple choice or checkbox type, available or mandatory within sourcing. In order for supplier selection to also function, this will need to be marked as available or mandatory against the SRM as well. For pick one from list and multiple choice type fields, I should also ensure that I have relevant options available. Saving this now, I can move into the SRM and view an individual contact. Categorization is made at the individual contact level to ensure that multiple individuals from a single company can be categorized. Here I'm going to give them a couple of regions and ensure that the category they can supply for is correct. This will ensure they get added only to the relevant events. I can also configure various templates to be auto-selected. Here at the end of an event I can choose save as template and that will add the whole event structure as a template. Within the event library I can then set the auto selection conditions for that. I can make these as simple or as complex as I like, basing them off a single custom field or multiple, giving multiple values that fit the bill or just one. Here you can see the various types of rules you can set up and the complex logic you can configure between them, meaning that any selection criteria can be accommodated by our rule engine. Similar rules can be configured for lots, documents and questionnaires. Now, by creating a new event via automation, I'm given the custom fields to complete. Here I'm going to choose Europe and a category of packaging. And you can see below it gives me the events that match those rules. When I update that, I may be given multiple events to choose from. In this case, I'm going to return to my original values and click create event. At which time, the event is created using the event template, the custom fields are brought through, and I can build on that with other automation. For instance, I can choose to generate questionnaires. It will check the rules that are against the questionnaires in my library, and add relevant ones to the event. Here, two have been introduced, one for all events, standard suppliers, and one for the specific category that I'm sourcing in. Moving on to the documents tab, I can also auto populate these using the rules and it will bring them onto the event for the relevant criteria. Similarly for lots, if using advanced lots I can choose to auto select those as well and the lot structures are brought into my event. This can also be enforced so that users cannot customise these lots once they have been added. And finally I control the SRM to bring through the relevant contacts based on the custom fields that have been placed in the event. I can double check that these have been added correctly using the auto selection pop-up and you can see this user has been chosen because they are Europe and packaging. And it's as easy as that, you can go about creating sourcing events in no time at all with few manual steps using powerful automation technology from Market Dojo.